the obligation to say Kiddush on Friday night is an obligation midoraita, as we have pointed out. But the nusach, the form of the Kiddush, the words that you have to say, are not formulated in the Torah. So that theoretically, if you say, uh, it's Shabbos, um, then it's Shabbos. You fulfilled your obligation, min ha-Torah, to make Kiddush, to indicate, to announce, to be the clarion voice that says, it is now Shabbat. However, Chachamim uh, told us, taught us that this uh, a voice, this statement that we have to make on Friday night, is to be connected to three other, three other obligations. The first is that when you make this declaration on uh, that it is Shabbat, you have to also make a bracha on the wine. The second thing is that the Kiddush has to be bimakom su'uda, in the place that you are about to eat. And the third obligation, most importantly, is that the nusach, that the formulation of this declaration, has to be with the specific words that Chazal have bequeathed to us, those words that we call kiddush. So that in order to fulfill the mitzvah midoraita from the Torah, which is to declare that it is now Shabbat, you have to also do these other three obligations. And those three obligations are, again, let's list them. Kiddush al you have to make Kiddush with a cup of wine, a brocha, barei priya gafa. You have to say the Kiddush b'makom su'uda, the place that you are about to eat the meal for Shabbat. And the third thing is that you have to use the nusach that is bequeathed to us by the Chachamim, the nusach that we call Kiddush. Now what happens if a person uh, makes Kiddush with a, another nusach? He just says, uh, I know it's Shabbat, and I'm happy about it, and I declare it, and I want everybody to know that it is Shabbat. Well, uh, what happens then? And this is a discussion that the poskim have had uh, throughout all of the years. Is it true that in some way that declaration includes the obligation midoraita? And that all he has left to do is say the Nusach of Kiddush, but it turns into an obligation, Midrabanan. Or do we say that once the Chachamim have determined how you should make Kiddush, that it is no longer possible to make Kiddush in any other way? So that is, if a person says, Kiddush, instead of saying the regular Kiddush, he says, today it is Shabbat, then it may be that he hasn't done anything from the Torah point of view. And then once the Chachamim have obliged me to say Kiddush formulated as they formulated, there is no other, no other possibility. In fact, today, we, are, uh, we all recognize the fact that when we go out of shul, we say, uh, we say Good Shabbos, to our fellow, Shabbat Shalom, and we don't think that what we've done is somehow taking care of the obligation to say Kiddush. We know that when we say Shabbat Shalom, and we know that when we daven and we say Mikadesh Shabbat, the bracha of Shmona Esrei, Friday night, we know that that's not Kiddush, and we have no intention of it being Kiddush because we know, on the other hand, that the obligation to say the Kiddush as formulated by the Chachamim becomes our paramount obligation.